I'm Stephanie and today I have my March favorites for you. I don't have that many products honestly. Ever since I moved to LA I've been living quite minimally. I haven't really been shopping for much but I do have some products I've been using pretty consistently for at least a couple months so let's just jump right into the first product. Let's just talk about what's on my lips right now. This is my girl Eugenie's collaboration with Colourpop. You might know her on the interwebs as Feral Creature. She's a beautiful blog and Instagram and if you haven't checked her out yet I'll link all her info down below. She's amazing. But anyways, this color is really beautiful. I think it suits so many skin tones. Very deep, purpley, plummy, red, and very layerable. If you've never used ColourPop lip products before, they have matching lip liners and lippy sticks. So lippy stick is a twist up little lipstick like this and lip liner. These are very smooth products, so they're very easy to apply. They just glide right on, but you have to be a little bit careful, especially with dark colors. I mean, any dark color, you have to be quite careful with how you draw the line. These are definitely products worth trying out, especially if you're new to the dark lip game and you don't really want to break the bank uh, in buying new products. These are $5 each, so you can't really go wrong with that. Plus, this color makes your teeth look really white. If you can't tell already. Next up I have a body product I've been using all month long and this is the Authentic African Black Soap in Eucalyptus Tea Tree. I always see this at Whole Foods and at other health food stores but I just never tried it out because I use Dr. Bronner so religiously. Uh, but I just decided to try something new this month and I'm really happy I did. I've always struggled with a little bit of body acne. I used to have a lot, but now I just have a few breakouts here and there. And I really do think that the tea tree in this body wash has really helped calm everything down. It's pretty awesome. This is not a high lather product, but it does feel very silky on the skin and doesn't leave a weird residue or anything. You feel very moisturized after you use this. So I am definitely going to repurchase this. I think I prefer this over Dr. Bronner's actually because sometimes I feel like my Dr. Bronner's uh, body wash does leave some of a uh, little bit of a residue. This has just been really working for me. I'm gonna go back to Whole Foods and buy like the giant bottle. Here I have the Aesop Fabulous Face Cleanser. It is a low foam olive oil based cleanser and I have quite sensitive skin. Uh, actually a couple days ago I just got like five breakouts on my face. I'm not very happy about that but maybe like a month and a half ago I went to Aesop because I needed a new cleanser and the person helping me recommended this one because it's very, very gentle. It's for people with sensitive skin. I use this cleanser twice a day, once in the morning when I wake up uh, before I put on my moisturizer and everything, and then at night after I take off all my makeup. And like it says, it's a very low foaming wash. You're not gonna get a ton of suds out of this, but your face is left very clean but not stripped which is very important to me because even though I do have oily combination skin, I don't want a really harsh face wash that's gonna leave my skin feeling you know, tight and dry. I've been enjoying this. If you're looking for just a very straightforward facial cleanser, uh, I would recommend it. The mask I've been using like crazy this month has been the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Remember when everyone went nuts when this first came out on YouTube, it was just like, it was a game changer, <laughs> but it really is. It's an incredible mask if you're trying to very much clarify your skin, draw all the oils, and it's kind of just that disgustingly satisfying thing where you can actually see oils seeping in from every little teeny pore in your face. It's so gross, but so cool, and honestly, I've been breaking out a bit lately because I just haven't been getting the sleep I need. I realize that my skin condition really depends on my sleep pattern so uh, I just need to be better about that. I think also moving to LA my skin's just getting used to the city air here. I was in San Francisco before but it's just different. Your skin has to get used to a certain place so I have been using this maybe once a week and I feel like it really does clarify my skin and just help get all that gunk out. The boot that I've been crazy about this month is this pair from Jeffrey Campbell. I believe I got it from Nasty Gal. It's this pointy pair with this really awesome squared off detail in the front. I've been wearing these like crazy. It's such a versatile boot. I wear it with my black skinny jeans of course, with knee highs, with uh, shorts, and also a skirt. These are definitely not my most comfortable shoe. My platforms are more forgiving than this one, but it's because there's no height in the front. It's just this really harsh angle, but they just look so beautiful and they make your legs look extremely long for not having platform in the front. 
I'm 5'2". I got some stubby legs, so I can use all the help I can get. Also, I have quite wide feet, and finding pointy shoes is very, very difficult for me, and these work. So if you have hobbit feet like me, you could go for these because your foot will fit inside. My last favorite of the month is this Whistles backpack I got off of ASOS. If you watch my top 10 festival essentials, you've already seen this bag. This bag just has one zip going across the top. I think it's just such a perfect size for a little backpack. If it's a water bottle inside, my wallet, phone, charger, little makeup bag. Even though it's small, it does fit quite a lot. And if you really need to stuff it, you can just zip it and keep it straight. I know that's weird, but if you really need to stuff it with something, you could keep it straight and wear it on your back. I really hope that this size is still on the site. I know that it said it was like low stock when I purchased this. Otherwise, I will link the larger size of this backpack down below. I was interested in that one too, but that one was kind of just a little bit too pricey for me at this point. But the quality of this bag is really high, so if you are looking for a new leather backpack that is high quality, you could definitely go for that one as well. All right, that was my very small list of March favorites. If you have any products, that you want to share with me, please comment them down below. I've just kind of been in a rut, I think, with products. I just haven't really been putting myself out there. So let me know what you've been using this month. If you like this video, please subscribe. It would really mean so much to me. I hope you all had a wonderful month, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Hey, y'all. I'm Stephanie. Today, I've teamed up with Glam to bring you the ultimate throwback, a style throwback. <laughs>